Hi, I'm Jemima and I'm in year five. I live next door to writer Stuart Ross. I'm going to go into his writing hut to give him an interview. Come in. This is um, Stuart Ross and tell me Stuart, have you written a new book? Yep. Well, I've written the first chapter. And I think you've read it, actually. And it's called The Bandit. And it's for Fiction Express. And it's set in ancient China. Why is it set in ancient China, Stuart? Well, because I'm really fascinated by China. I wrote a book called We Are the First Emperor, which was about the first emperor of China. And The Bandit is about the second emperor of China. Well, actually, it's not about the emperor himself. It's about the time of the second emperor, when China was in real trouble. Everything was falling apart. I think you remember that, don't you? You read the first bit. Yeah. What's the name of the, of the main girl? I think it was Bayou. Bayou, that's right, yes. And uh, she and her family are in real trouble. And they meet a man and his son called Ji. And they are, they've got a secret plan. But we don't know about the secret plan until chapter two or even chapter three. Tell me, did you enjoy chapter one? Yes, actually, um, I loved um, Bayou. Bayou was a very strong character. Like you? You could, yeah, you could really feel her emotions. Just you could actually see her face in that oh. character. So, do you want to know what's going to happen to her? Um, yeah, but I think isn't it a vote? It is a vote, yeah. You vote at the end of chapter one as to what's going to happen in chapter two. Then I have to come back into my hut down here and write what happens in chapter two. So it should be... Uh, I can't wait, because I don't know. I've got an idea, and I know that you've got some ideas as well about what could happen. But we mustn't tell people about that at the moment. Tell me, uh, what? why did you enjoy it, the chapter? Why did I enjoy it? It was the emotions of the rush. And I really liked the bit where they were in danger because of the war. That was the bit where a family got split up and that was when the adventure sort of kicked in at the start. That's what you like, it's adventure and excitement. So it's not just boys who like adventure and excitement, it's girls who like it as well, yeah? Yeah, um, I think I think you can do it at any age. I mean, like. I still go up to my grandfather and tell him stories. Oh, brilliant. Tell me, um, is there anything else you want to know about me as a writer? Um, why, do you, why did you want to come well, as a writer? Well, would you believe it? When I was younger, I lived in a house with no electricity. Can you imagine that? No electric light, no telephone, n well, nothing that we use now, like not even a fridge. And so we had no television, we had a battery radio. So my brother and I used to play together, inside and outside, all day long. Day after day, week after week, month after month. And we made up stories. And so I've been brought up with stories and I love telling stories. And I've been doing it ever since. And I suppose that's why I'm a writer. And of course, as well as telling stories, we read because there isn't telly, there aren't games to play on your phone. So we just read and just read. Got sucked and into the books. Yeah, we got, exactly, I got sucked <laughs> into the book. What a great expression, yeah. So that's what it was. So that is why now I'm writing and I'm still writing and I've just written the story called The Bandit for Fiction Express and it's coming out very soon. And are you going to read it? Yeah. Tell me, Stuart, where did you get the name Bayou from? Sorry, I'm so sucked into this book. <laughs> right, well, I, I got the name, I, I, I cheated. I went online and I looked up Chinese names and I had to get a name that sounded quite, uh, you know, not too weird, because some Chinese names to Western ears sound rather strange, don't they? So I thought, well, Bayou, it, it, you wouldn't mind being called Bayou, would you? No, well, that's yeah, what I it's thought. It's a sort of name that you can identify with. It's unusual, and yet it's quite a friendly name. So that's how I chose it. And her friend is called G, and I thought that again, that's quite easy. Uh, because sometimes you get Chinese names like Ping, and if I had a hero called Ping, it just sounds, you know, it sounds a bit like ping pong, doesn't it? So I didn't think that would work terribly well. That's so I, right back into action. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I just thought we would... Um, 
Anyway, I tell you what, we'll have another interview later and uh, we'll do some more questions and I'll tell you a bit more about myself and you can tell me a bit more about yourself. Yeah, that'd be great. Bye.